Professor Marcus has been teaching at Hastings since 1989 and is the lead author of two West case books and several volumes of the Federal Practice and Procedure Treatise. Here to give a speech titled, Blocking Google Buses, Smart or Stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Richard Marcus. Okay. He didn't tell me about the ad hominem part. Uh, when Max came to see me and asked me to do this uh, quite a while ago, I didn't appreciate then how much I would be seeing in the press about, I think, this subject. So my evidence is going to be basically drawn from things I've seen in the newspapers since I spoke to him, and I even have a little folder over there with them in it. Um, I'm assuming most of you know what I'm talking about, but in case you don't, some people out there largely in the Mission District, uh, and if you don't know what that is, you ought to find out, um, have on occasion blocked what are called Google buses. I don't think it's just Google, but buses designed to transport workers who live in the Mission and elsewhere to their jobs down the peninsula. Um, and they are protesting something it seems what they are protesting isn't a big deal, and that's part of the point I want to make in a moment. But let me start out by asking, is there a problem here worth protesting or being concerned about at all? And I think the answer there is yes. Uh, and for that, I give you a few pieces of evidence. Wall Street Journal last Friday uh, had an article entitled Million Dollar Nabes, as short for neighborhood, um, the top 10 in terms of percentage of houses offered at more than a million dollars uh, in the U.S. Uh, included in the top 10 was L.A., 18.4 percent, New York, 20.8 percent, and guess who led the pack? San Francisco, 43.5 percent, nearly half the houses. Um, second item, uh, New York Times, February 20th, quote, study finds greater income inequality in nation's thriving cities. Quote, the biggest single increase in inequality occurred in San Francisco. Uh, third item, New York Times, March 3rd, housing market with nowhere to go but up. Quote, more wealth is concentrated in the San Francisco Bay Area than just about any other place in the nation. Meanwhile, housing starts are almost non-existent and housing units are not multiplying. Why Scott Wiener of the Board of Supervisors says, quote, the system is intentionally designed to make it as difficult as possible to build new housing, unquote. So, yeah, there does seem to be a problem. What's the solution? Um, let's go block some buses. Maybe that immediately jumps to mind. Why that? Well, on Monday, on Monday, the SF Chronicle ran uh, an article entitled Deep Roots of Tech Scapegoating, which begins with an example from, drawn from the mission of a flyer put under a tech, walk, tech worker's uh, windshield wiper that said, quote, the mission has been colonized by pigs with money. They help landlords drive up rents, pushing working and poor people out of their homes. Take action now, and the recommended action was keying, if you know what that means, the cars of tech workers. When was this done? 1999, 15 years ago. So it, it's, a, it's a deep impulse, perhaps. Um, what's the goal? Let's drive out those awful people. Um, is, Google buses really the problem? Um, well, the people interviewed for this story in the Chronicle said, well, we tried lots of protests, but didn't get any attention. And then, quote, suddenly we stopped a Google bus and the whole world turned our way. So maybe that's part of why. Um, the uh, co-president of the Harvey Milk LGBT Democratic Club quoted in that story said, quote, this appears, this opens up our bus stops. He's protesting a program to authorize for a fee uh, using bus stops. This opens up our bus stops to billion dollar corporations for little more than pennies as we deprioritize transportation for young, elderly, and disabled San Franciscans. 
and in an article called Why We Protest the Google Buses on February 16th in the Chronicle, uh, somebody uh, uh, suggested, quote, the social contract between the people and their government is being transformed by corporations. The solution, remember this is the goal we're after, the solution is for corporations to operate in the public good while they make their private profit. Um, the point, it seems to me, is that this is a recruiting ploy. Uh, it gets a lot of attention, it's a recruiting ploy, and maybe corporations will operate in the public good for some reason. I don't think blocking buses in San Francisco is going to produce that result. Um, as an, uh, an op-ed in the February 9 Chronicle said, this time, Speaking of the bus blocking, this time the old guard is not the button down bankers and pillars of blue blood society, but the progressives. This time the new guard is not hippies or gays transforming neighborhoods, but tech savvy young minds drawn to a city that nurtures avant garde thinking and lifestyles. So isn't that something that people should want? Um, yes, San Francisco is the epicenter of that sort of thing and of wealth. There are other outcomes. There's a tale of two cities. I suggest an alternative is Detroit. And that's not one that I would endorse. So be careful about what you do and what you pursue. Uh, there's an I got here first aspect to this. So I'm gonna wind up with my own version of that. In 1910, my father came from Romania to the mission. My mother came to San Francisco in 1924 and later taught at Mission High School. When I was born, I was brought home to the mission. So I've got a little bit of status to talk about it there. And then think of the co-president of the Harvey Milk Democratic Club. What do you suppose the neighbors said about whether the new arrivals fit into the Castro when Harvey Milk moved into the Castro? Be careful who you want to exclude. And I remember a different San Francisco going back more than 50 years when the Giants first came out here and uh, Willie Mays bought a house on the periphery of our neighborhood. The realtor who sold him that house was boycotted for selling to an African American. So be real careful who you try to push out. So I think blocking Google buses is stupid. Thank you.